Hey guys, my name is Elena, I'm a graphic designer and welcome to my channel about a graphic design. And today I'm going to show you how to use the Pathfinder panel. And if you're interested, please keep watching. Okay, let's start. Here it is our Pathfinder panel. Let's put it, let's put it here. Here are our tools. And if uh, you don't have the Pathfinder panel, you need to go window and here just press Pathfinder. Okay, let's start the tutorial. Select any dark blue color delete the stroke and draw their circle like this now lock it here it's just our background and select yellow color and ellipse and draw the ellipse like this now again draw the ellipse a little smaller and here you see the shape of the moon you can make it thinner or thicker like this select both shapes now align them and pathfinder exclude okay your shapes now grouped you need to ungroup them now right click and ungroup okay now delete this part and now you see the shape of the moon okay let's go on select white color and ellipse tool and draw four ellipses it will be the cloud move them a little like this or like you want okay now select them all and pathfinder unite okay now it's uh, one shape now we need to cut off the part of the cloud so select rectangle tool draw the rectangle and put it like this select the cloud and the rectangle and now pathfinder intersect okay here it is our cloud and the moon let's move them here okay guys the unite intersect and exclude is the main tools in the pathfinder panel uh, so i don't often use the other tools but let me show you how to use them okay now select the cloud and the moon and let's select minus front and the object in front is removed let's select it okay you see the cloud is removed now select minus back and the object in the back is removed now you see the moon the moon is removed now select again both shapes and divide divide is very useful tool and now you see you will see why ungroup and all parts are separated and it will help to create interesting designs now team uh, dream and merge here i am in confused i don't see the difference be between these two tools and let me show you why now select the trim and ungroup now 
you see the cloud it's okay and here we don't have the part and the select the merge now ungroup again the cloud is okay and here we don't see the part and there i think the same and i don't see the difference now the crop it's really very useful at first let's select these two shapes and select crop you see it intersect the shape and what the difference between intersect select it's intersect the white shape but why it's so useful let's draw their small ellipse let's be orange effect just it transform and transform and transform and here horizontal hundred and here eight again effect dist distort and transform transform and here vertical hundred and eight object expand appearance it's like our pattern and let's put it here okay and we need to copy and paste the moon bring it to front and now i think you will be uh, you want to use intersect let's try it and you see you can't do it okay now let's select crop and voila here you see their pattern and it's with help of the crop bring the cloud to front and i want to show you one more trick with exclude now twice copy and paste the cloud move the cloud one of the copy little up select both copies and pathfinder exclude ungroup uh, now delete unwanted part and this part will be uh, gray and gray it's the shadow and here you can turn around corners with help of dark selection tool and this way I very often create the shadows uh, let's delete mm, these shapes and the last one it's outline i think it's the same and useful tool but maybe you will be interested in this you see here it's uh, great outlines and divide the shapes but uh, here i don't see the downline of the cloud so guys it was the main information about pathfinder and if you want to practice in pathfinder tool you can make it in my tutorials now you see tutorials where you can use pathfinder tool and to understand how to use it and understand how it useful and helpful and uh, understand that many designs uh, many interesting designs designs can be created only with geometric shapes and the pathfinder tool and it's really interesting designs and no one understand that it's only geometric shapes and pathfinder and that's all for today guys if you like my tutorial please give me a like and subscribe and see you in the next tutorials in Adobe Illustrator or in the next videos in a graphic design. Bye bye guys! Mwah.